Joe, wake up. Time for breakfast. It's late. I have a message from Mark. Please get ready. Joe jumps out of bed and straight into the shower. Evidently, yesterday's activity had little effect on his young body. James, is Mark on the way home? Finish washing up, Joe. I will prepare breakfast. Then, you can talk to Mark. The vidcom comes to life and his mother, who apparently is still not home yet, comes to life from the other side of the vidcom. Morning, Joe. Bapa says hello. I hear from James that you had quite an adventure at Phillips. Please be careful. I've instructed James to keep an eye on you. Also, no more of these sorts of adventure. But Ma, I didn't do anything. I know. I just want you to be safe. That's all. I'm not coming home tonight because Papa needs to go to Johor Bahru and wants me to follow him today. I should be back day after tomorrow. James will be there for you. If you need to talk to me, just vid me, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye. Love you. Joe rolls his eyes. Not about coming back in a day or two, but the love bit. He is the adventurer that does not seek motherly love, the perfect alpha male, or so he thinks. Joe, the drone from yesterday, it's military grade, Malayan Rangers issue. Aha! I knew it! I knew it! Rangers! Wow! Dancing and jumping like a happy boy. Joe, the alpha male, shows his age. James, on the other hand, continues to show fleeting human traits. If he had eyes, it would be rolled up at this moment. James, we have to find out where that ranger drone comes from. We have to, and you'll help us. I will not. Mark will be very angry with me if she finds out. No more help, Joe. I'm busy, and I need you to do the house chores while I prepare lunch. Joe has never been one to give up easily, especially over something that intrigues him. The drone episode has him thinking about how his gang could solve this mystery and protect his Rumba. After all, what is Rumba without him? I'll call the gang, then we can talk about our mission and how we can convince James to help. Eh, convince. He smiles as that thought plays in his mind. Mindful? that James doesn't catch on with his plans. Psst! Azrin! Come in, come in! James is occupied. Hurry! Where's Philip and the rest? They should be here in a bit. Malik was hungry, had to stop at the roti kiosk for makan. Doesn't he stop? Shh! Come on, come on. Joe pulls Azrin into the house and both of them quietly descend to the bottom floor of the house in an open yard reminiscent of the old Malay still homes you would find even today. Joe's house, however, has incorporated light walls intended for privacy. This is the location where most of his boyhood schemes are thought out and planned with the gang. The drone episode had been the latest mystery in a long line of mysteries in which the gang had adopted and never solved because either Malik or Philip decided that it was time to go home for dinner. This time, however, Joe will insist that we finish and complete this mystery. Complete one, then they'll take us seriously. No one knows who this day he was referring to was. Not that they are bothered. The gang of four will come to order. All present, Philip the pragmatist interrupts Joe during his roll call. Do we have to do this? Everybody's here, all of us. Every time he calls us, he does this. Azrin, are you sleeping again? This is normally the start of the usual arguments, which normally last for about an hour. Exhausted then usually ends with Malik asking for snacks. Normally when Ma is around, the snacks will miraculously appear. This time, with James, it remains to be seen if that actually will be the case. I'm hungry, Joe. Any cropo? <sighs> Don't you ever stop. Thanks for the cropo, Joe. Huh? Cropo? The dish is there on the floor with drinks incorporated for the gang. James has not disappointed the gang. 
meaning James, might be aware of their plans, but none was discussed. The secret is still a secret.